Number 55. At what net rate does heat radiate from a 275 meter square black roof on a night when the roof's temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and the surrounding temperature is 15 degrees Celsius? The emissivity of the roof is 0.9. All right. Keyword here is radiate. Anytime you're dealing with radiation, you're dealing with these two formulas right here. Okay. Now, in terms of the temperature, the most important thing I can tell you in terms of the temperatures, they better be in Kelvin, not in Celsius. Okay. Anytime you have a temperature by itself, not a change at all, it's always going to be in Kelvin. Okay. If you have a temperature change, you might be able to use Celsius there, or you might not. All right. The best way I could tell you is just never use Celsius. But in the problems we've done before with conduction and then with just basic heat transfer, the delta T, we were just taking differences in Celsius. And that's because it works. Here, let me give you an example. If uh, Assume you have 0 degrees Celsius and then 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, What's the temperature difference between them? Just the magnitude. Don't, don't worry about the sign. It's 100, right? It's fairly straightforward. Convert this into Kelvin, that's 273. Convert this into Kelvin, that's 373. What's the temperature difference between these two? Oh, it's 100 again. They're equivalent. But now what happens if I raise each of these to the fourth power? Well, what's the temperature difference now between these two? Well, it's going to be about 10,000, right? What's the temperature difference now between those two? Well, hmm, not 10,000, I'll tell you that. It's going to be some crazy number in the millions, maybe 800 or so, 900, somewhere around there. 800 million. So as you can see, it, they're not equivalent anymore. So since these temperatures are to the fourth power, they better be in Kelvin. Anytime you have a temperature by itself, it also better be in Kelvin, not Celsius. Okay, the only time you're out, you're allowed uh, here to substitute Celsius in for Kelvin is when you have a temperature difference that is not raised any power, just straightforward. And I just proved it to you why. Okay. Anyway, so radiation, they're talking about net rate. I'm going to be using this formula. Remember, Q over T is just power, so I'm just going to call it net power here. All right, is equal to then the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity multiplied by the area over which the object is radiating heat uh, from or into, however the problem is set up, and then multiplied by the temperature difference or the two temperatures, the temperature we can call it of the object uh, minus then the temperature of the surroundings, or you can do it the opposite. It doesn't, honestly, it doesn't really matter. The sign you can think about, the, the sign only tells you direction of heat flow. If you plug in the values in here so that it, it's a positive number, that means the uh, that means heat is being gained by the object. If you plug in the values here such that the it's a negative answer, that means heat is being lost by the object. But you can obviously see, right, if you have a roof that's at 30 degrees Celsius and the environment's at 15, what do you think is going to happen to the energy inherent in the roof? It's going to be lost or gained. It's going to be lost, right? Heat goes from high temperature to low temperature. I mean, it's that simple. So basically, I, I should set this up so I get a negative answer, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. You know that whatever rate you know is being lost from the object is being gained by the environment. So it doesn't really matter. The sign just tells you basically direction here. Um, direction of heat flow. Obviously, it's not a vector, though. So this is um, the net power will be equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Memorize that. You might also be given it, but you should be doing enough practice where it's just kind of memorized by doing the problems. The emissivity they told us was 0.9 in the problem. The area is going to be 275. Great. The two temperatures, it doesn't really matter. If you want to plug in the bigger one first, that's fine. Just note that the object will be radiating heat out of it. So overall, it should be negative. But So technically, I should really plug in the... Uh, remember, you cannot plug in Celsius temperatures here. It has to be in Kelvin. So this would be something like 288 raised to the fourth minus 303 raised to the fourth, right? 30 degrees Celsius is uh, 303 Kelvin. Now all you got to do is just calculate this. So throw it on into the calculator. So 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 multiplied by 0 0.9 times 275 multiplied then by parenthesis 288. Oops, I hit 388. 288 raised to the fourth minus then 303 raised to the fourth. And what do you get? I get approximately, right, negative um, 2.17 or so. 2.17 times 10 raised to the uh, fourth, right, times 10 raised to the fourth. And that is in watts, okay? That's a lot, a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a high uh, rate of heat transfer, okay? That's because the roof is pretty large, right? That should kind of make sense. So, um, yeah, and that's it, okay?
guys, thanks for tuning in. Right, oh, also remember the negative sign. Right means that he's being lost from the uh, from the roof, which should kind of make sense. I took the perspective of the roof here. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this video helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Hit that like button. And even more importantly, if we helped you out, maybe we can help some of your friends out in the class. Tell us about our videos. All right, we appreciate it so much. Take care.